Please. Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. And we are going B Trooper. So let's start the first replay. The opening hand is a Golden Bamboo Sword, Scout Buggy, Cocoon of Ultra Evolution, Floodgate Trap Hole and another Golden Bamboo Sword. So we're going first and we'll start with summoning Buggy, getting Buggy, Link summoning into the Link 2, Armored Horn, Setting, Raccoon and Floodgate Trap Hole. The opponent summons the Dark Magician, we Floodgate it, he sets a card and passes. Then we use our B Trooper formation to bring by our Scout Buggy, get a Scout Buggy from the deck, go into Invincible Atlas and start sweeping. The opponent then activates Eternal Soul, searches and passes. Okay, fine. A Dark Magician is summoned, bond between two teacher and student summon the Dark Magician girl, Soul Servant gets a draw. He destroys the back row, summons Magician of Black Chaos, Magi Dark Magician of Chaos, such as a card. Okay, nothing of importance was lost. Cooking of Ultra Evolution will banish itself, sends a Scout Buggy to the deck and let us draw. Then we're going into the Bamboo Swords, getting some draws and sweeping that Magician. Now, our back row is very neatly packed with Floodgate Trap Hole, Double Grave Digger, and the Beat River Flying Sting. So, we have a lot of responses that we can use. But for now, let's just sweep with Atlas doing Atlas stuff. Since he can't be targeted or destroyed, there's nothing much he can do. The opponent decides to see summon Abel Illusion Magician, with which gets Floodgated. Then we get our Invincible Atlas to bring out a Doom Buggy, we're getting a Doom Buggy out of the Doom Buggy, and we're doing Doom Buggy with Doom Buggy and Doom Buggy. The Eternal Soul will summon a monster, nothing of importance was lost. We're going to get our B Trooper Big Boy, revive, revive a Doom Buggy using the formation, Link into Armor Horn, bring out Armor Horn, make Invincible Atlas. Now, that was my misplay, that was a misplay on my behalf, since I should have attacked with Sting Lancer before the Invincible Atlas, but that's beside the point. If one decides to use Red Eyes Fusion, but that gets ashed, activates the effect of Magician Souls, but that gets hit with Gravedigger's Trap Hole. And that also gets hit with Gravedigger's Trap Hole. So the opponent just lost 4000 life points just because. Now we use the effect of our monster and set two trap holes. One of which is Gravedigger. Basically winning us the duel. So now, duel number two. The hand in this one is a more Trap Tricks heavy, since we have Mermelio. Dianea, another Mermelio, Imperm, and Ash Blossom. However, we're all we're not going first this time, so the opponent tries to use Red Eye Fusion, which gets ashed, then he sets a card and passes. So we're able to summon Mermelio, search out Floodgate, attack for more damage, link into Serra, set three cards and pass. The opponent then activates another Dark Magician card. I swear that's not the same guy as last time. So the opponent activates Magician's Rod, we get Imperm. This allows us to special summon Mantis. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I was a bit skeptical about activating Mantis' effect uh, at that point, because my thoughts were that the opponent would try and get um, get Predapant Vertian Anaconda and go into Dragoon. But now we use Dianea to bring back uh, Mermelio, pop a card, link into Armor Horn, link, exceed into Armorilia, Alomeris, detach to bring back a Mermelio, pop another card, and the opponent scoops. Because too many cards were popped. I suppose. And the final duel of the day. We're starting with Formation Mermelio, Cursed Bamboo Sword, Ash Blossom, and Scout Buggy. So, uh, let's normal summon the Scout Buggy, get a Scout Buggy. Activate the Curse Bamboo Sword so we can get the Broken Bamboo Sword out of the uh, field, out of the deck. 
Use the effect of uh, Horn to bring out Normalio, so search for the trap hole. Use the formation, bring out Scout Buggy, and go into Invisible Atlas. The opponent then activates Toy Vendor since Driver normal summons Fluffle Dog, which is going to get ashed. Fluffle Bear will then trigger setting a Toy Vendor. The opponent will try and normal summon Fluffle Dolphin, but that gets uh, floodgated. Then we're going into Shiz. I have no idea why, but uh, the game won't allow me to special summon a Bee Trooper. So, I don't know what, what happened there. The same happened here, I was unable to special summon a Bee Trooper from the deck. But I digress. So, we do our Golden Bamboo Sword plays, do some other plays, make another Invincible Atlas, because why the fuck not. Scout Buggy will destroy the sheep. Uh, the one, the weaker Invincible Atlas will destroy the Dolphin, and the stronger one will go for game. So, this is how our Trap Tricks B Trooper decks look like. We have Triple Dernia, Double Genelicia, One Mantis, Triple Normalio, Two Fluggy Trap Holes, Triple Grave Diggers, and One Trap Tricks Trap Hole Nightmare. So, the thing with uh, Genelicia and Dernia those are plants, so we cannot special summon them. However, the B Trooper allow for normal summon of any other type of monster. So we can still normal summon Dionia, get a Mantis or a Mermelio from the grave, and get either a Pop or something else. So that's still a thing we can do. Same with Genelicia. Genelicia. We can normal summon it, then tribute it to set two whole normal traps with different names, one from the deck and one from the graveyard. So those are still normal summons. Mantis is nice because it has a quick effect which can trigger our Sarah and Mermelio as well, Mermelio. I decided to opt for Floodgate not only because it's, it's decent, also it's kind of, sort of, a Dragoon out, since it set Dragoon face down, making the opponent unable to link it off or use it in any other way, making it useless. The downside is that the opponent has to use the Dragoon's negation uh, before the Fluggy Trapple is activated, but if we can get two on board, then I'm, I'm okay with this. The Grave Digger's Trap Hole is very good to deal with any sort of hand trap, since when an opponent activates a monster effect in hand or in grave, it will negate the effect and deal 2000 points of damage, so basically that's 6000 points of burn, which is searchable, and that's amazing. Traffic Strapple Nightmare is also good for negating the effects, which is also kind of a Dragoon out. Uh, then we have one Sting Lancer, Triple Scale Bomber, Triple Doom Scout Buggy, Triple Formation, and one Flying Sting. Sting Lancer is very decent, but it's a one of it's a high level, nothing much, much we can do with this. Scale Bomber is an extender, so that's, that's that. Do Scout Buggy is the well, it's a good normal summon. It can also be special summon with the effect of the formation or with an invincible atlas. So that's a thing. Flying Sting is a one of because not only is it searchable with Sting Lancer, if we have Atlas, we can just reset it. So uh, it's a reusable counter trap. Then we also have one Cocoon of Ultra Evolution because we like to get our monsters from the deck. This allows us not only to change something like a Mermelio or a Mantis into a Buggy or a Sting Lancer, but also do the exact opposite. So change a Buggy for a Mermelio and pop a back row, and make a Mantis, or go into Sting Lancer and search Fly and Sting. There is much this cocoon can do. That's why we're also playing the Bamboo Sword package with one broken, triple curse, and triple golden. Not only does, does it provide us with the draw power, but it's an equip spell we can equip to an insect monster. 
Amplifying the Cocoon of Ultra Evolution's activation condition. And as for the hand traps, we have Ash Blossoms and Infinite Impermanence. This deck is a mix of a combo, since mostly uh, B Troopers are a combo deck and some control with the trap tricks. As for the extra deck, we have some rank 4s, in this case an Emerald, Minerva, Baguska, Redoer, Elamaris, and Rafflesia. Elamaris is the only insect rank 4 that's playable. Uh, also, as you could see in one of the replays, it allows us to, bring, to detach two materials and bring back a Mermelio for an additional pop. So that is always good. Also playing Triple Invincible Atlas, because why the fuck not? Triple Armored Horn, uh, mostly due to the fact that it provides us an additional normal summon of an insect monster. So uh, we can either get a search with Mantis or a search with Mermelia for one of our trap cards. As for the trap tricks, we're playing one Coloria and Triple Sarah, and Double Sarah, pardon. Sarah is very good since it provides us with many plays, and even if it is, if we do have one of the B Troopers or Link Monsters on the field, Sarah still can trigger and special summon a Mermelio or a Mantis. So that is always something we can do. So anyway, that would be it for today, and I will see you all in the next video. Check us out. Peace!